Hey, can you talk about the, uh, the Promise program? Are you disappointed that it took so long for us, the public, to find out that Cruz was actually in the program after months of denial? Can you talk about that? I, I, I think when we, get, uh, when we get onto the school board, one of the things Lori and I are both uh, adamant is that we will drive transparency and accountability in the school district. We, we need to make sure that we're clear with the voters uh, what's happening within the school district and that uh, we clearly communicate this to us. Do you think the school district has to be replaced? This isn't about replacing the superintendent. This is about making sure that the administration is effective in delivering a quality education to the students of Broward County and to make sure they're safe. Do y'all think the superintendent should be removed from his post? No. I think that Superintendent Rumsey, he's a good person, that he has made a lot of positive, uh, he implemented a lot of changes into the Broward schools. When I am elected on the school board, I will ask him a tough question, and I will work with him in a professional manner, and as a school board member, that is my job to ask him those questions. I think, I think Lori makes a great point, right? The, the, the role and responsibility of the school board is to provide oversight to the administration. And I, I don't think that that's been effective. And so what we need to do is, is restore the board to its proper function as an oversight body for this school district. Why not for school board? Why not for state house or any other football? Sorry, why run for school board? Why not run for you know state house seat or any other political office? So, so for me, um, this happened to my daughter in an Esther with Douglas High School in Parkwood, and I feel where I can make the immediate changes would be in uh, being on the school board. So personally, that's where I would like to start. Yeah, like that's uh, I. Prior to, to Valentine's Day, I didn't understand the impact that the school board and the policies of the school district have on our schools. My wife and I have always been very active in our, in our children's education. We've, we've volunteered at schools. We've been there for our kids. had no idea the impact uh, that the school board has on, uh, on our students and their safety. So, as Lori said, we, we've been advocates and advocates for school safety since February 15th, right? So that mission will continue, but where we, where we feel we could be most effective right now is making sure the kids in Broward County and the teachers in Broward County are safe. Were you inspired by some of the students reaction after the shooting as well? Well, I think everybody's inspired by the activism. Uh, the attention that's been brought to this issue, has, uh, I think, has captivated everybody's attention. Next question right here. Okay. I, I'm, I'm running for school board. It really that's really a question for uh, you know, perhaps another day. Can I ask you? Can I ask you? Uh, the department that oversees the Promise program at the school district for years was accessing federal grants without the knowledge or approval of the district and the board members. Is that something you would look into, or would you hope to have more control over where the individual departments get their funding? Yes, I think that we definitely will look into that and we will hold people accountable for what they've done and, and what they've implemented. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. We appreciate it.